hi welcome to my channel in this video I will talk about Oracle Cloud Assets approval we will talk about a lot of things like overview and how to set up how to show assets approval in file how to set up the lookup required for assets approval and we will do one example as a practice to show you the effect of the assets approval setup overview of oracle assets approval as you know that asset pro provides approval workflow that allows configuring proper approval mechanism to tightly control fixed assets transactions that materially affect the balance sheet and the profit and the loss account it's not it's a new features to make approval required for transactions like additions transfer retirement and adjustment this video explains the details about how to configure how to use assets approval workflow approval workflow helps to eliminate paperwork and service as a centralized source of information about all transactions pertaining to assets approval also adhere to compliance and better accountability and recording of audit trial when transaction is posted assets will send approval request notification to the approval identified from the rules provided by you there are two workflow stages for which you need to define approval rules separately for each of them which is these two there are single transaction and the mass transactions for single transaction each transaction is approved separately approval is notified for each transaction for the mass it's mass transaction like transaction group as whole is approved approval gets only one notifications for each mass transaction group for single transaction enter single transaction in the following page either add adjust transfer retire to create approval rule for the single transaction using the following sheets in the manage workflow rules you we will see it later for additions adjustment transfer retirement what does it mean that there are the assets approvals is only for four transaction types as you see here add assets adjust assets transfer assets and retire assets for the mass enter mass transaction for group of assets so either adfdi spreadsheet or fbdi spreadsheet and to create approval rules you also use mass sheet in manage workflow rules in a spreadsheet most of assets attributes and transaction attributes are available to define the approval rules only mass transaction group attributes are available to define the approval rules approval is initiated when you submit the transaction in for mass transaction is approval is initiated when you set the status to post for all lines in the group and post them for example when you make add addition or asset addition through uh, spreadsheet or whatever when you change or the status set it to post for all lines in these spreadsheets the approval in this case will be initiated for mass transaction type but for the single transaction in case of I am going to make adjustment for specific assets once I make it submit or retire and once I put the all informations for retire assets specific assets and try to make a submit at that time the approval will be initiated approval notification shows the details of asset transactions submitted approval notification shows what summary details of all assets included in the mass adjustment transactions either group or patch this is the two types of approval either one by one as a single transaction or a group or a mass transactions for a lot of transactions for example for retirement you can try you can retire a specific assets or you can retire a lot of assets one time what is the set of steps there are you have to enable approval in the assets book then define approval rules then create and submit 
transactions. For example, you enable the approval for retirement. You define the approval rule for retirement. You are going to create a retirement assets and submit transactions. Then the approval workflow will start working to send a notification to approvers. Then transactions are posted. Enable approval for each transaction, either addition, adjustment, transfer, retirement on the create book or edit book. When enabled all options, we will see it later after some seconds. It will be require approval for all of the transactions. Or you can enable approval for specific transactions, either addition, adjustment, retirement, transfer, blah, blah, blah. In, ensure before enabling the approval for the book that data is migrated completely from legal system or any third party system or non oracle system to the new system either eBusiness, Microsoft, uh, SAP, whatever. Second, verify the pending transaction in the info tile and action them. This is before to starting to enable and define approval rules and start to create and submit transaction for approval. This is two step is required before enabling approval. As you see here, define approval rule, create and submit approval and the post. Let's get into application to show you how to enable the approval. I just log in here. First of all, you have to search for manage asset book. Once you entered, you have to go to setup and maintenance first and search for select financial, then manage assets books. Enter again, selected, select which assets book you are going to enable approval because you have to, if you are going to enable the approval for the book, you have to enable one by one. Select the proper book here, search then again the book then you will find here go to down sorry here enable approval for which transactions all either additions and retirement or specific transactions or none if you selected all it will be enabled for all if you selected for a specific transaction like here it will be only enabled for this for example, I enabled for retirement. Maybe in your case, you enabled for additions. You will enable it for all, whatever. Once you enabled, just save and close. This is the first step to how to enable the approval for the specific book. Before go to the next step for define approval rule and create blah, blah, blah. Let's continue these very important slides to be aware before enabling these approval rules. Set up steps recommendations that recommendations while framing the rules ensure that first of all relevant operators are selected based on the value type. Multiple rules are not defined for the same asset book. You have to ensure that before or after either after defining the rule the rule defined are complete. For example, if rule is defined for based on the assets cost, if the first rule is for the assets cost between, for example, 500 to 1000 USD, all condition pertaining to the rules should be covered. There should be a rule to cover if the cost is below used 500 and above. So you have to cover, make a cover rules. If you make, for example, specific rules for the assets cost more than 1000 you have to cover it another rules for uh, assets cost less than 1000 and so on define auto approval for mass transaction if they don't require approval again if, for example i can make one specific rules for the assets cost more than 1000 what about the assets cost more, less than 1000 I can, I can set up auto approval rules for this it like ignore or don't uh, don't send it for approval 
Unique batch name is assigned for each mass transactions. Unique batch name. Don't enter the batch name every time. You have to unique the batch name for each mass transactions. For example, retirement. Mm -hmm. The system will ask you what is the batch name for this retirement. It will be, for example, retire one, retire two, but don't duplicate the batch name for the mass transaction every time. Create workflow rules using a spreadsheet. You can use a spreadsheet template available on the manage workflow rules in a spreadsheets page to manage approval rules for the asset transactions. We already did before uh, one workflow rules for uh, GLs using the same uh, path to manage workflow rules in a spreadsheet for the assets also. <coughs> to create it, you have to sign two applications, download the rule, define the workflow rules in a spreadsheet, generate the rule file, upload and verify it's uploaded or not. And we will see it later now to show you how to download, how to upload, how to set up and how to boot the attributes. In case of the manage workflow rules in a spreadsheet, task is not visible, you have to follow the below steps. You have to sign two applications as a financial application administrator, verifying if the approval routing administration features is enabled at offering financial opt-in features. Click edit icon for financials. If the feature is not enabled, select it checkbox. In the setup and maintenance work area, go to financial application extensions, manage workflow rules in a spreadsheet tasks. In some cases that sometime when you go to set up and maintenance and try to search for manage workflow rules in a spreadsheets task, it's not visible. How to visible there? You have to follow these steps. Else you can go to search in a general search area. We will see it also later to search by manage workflow rules in a spreadsheets to find this task there and start your to create your workflow rules. Before defining the rules in the rule template, you must analyze approval policy. You have to consider these points before defining a business rules. It's like a questionnaire. It's like what is your requirement to set up or to start your approval uh, implementations. First of thing, which transaction require approval? For example, addition, retirement, uh, transfer, blah, blah, blah. You have to know you have to know who approval transactions in your organization. Do the approvals vary based on the transaction attributes? If so, you have to use a data set. Data sets also in the downloaded template of workflow approvals, there is one tab for the data sets, in which case you will use these data sets if the approvals vary based on the transaction attributes. What are approval conditions? How do you want to route the approval notifications? You have to be or you you have to be aware about all of the answers of all of these questions. Also, which approval require for your information notifications? Because in some attributes, you can only the actions is for your information notifications. No need approval for a specific person or whatever. So in this case, you can send a specific only notification like for your information notifications. And which transactions are exhibited from the approval rule. That's it. So it's like a questionnaire. You have to set with the business users, stakeholders, uh, managers, whatever. Ask like at least these six questions. And if you have more questions, you can ask. But before going to implement it, you have to be aware about the answers of these questions. Before to go to, let's get into applications to start our setup. Just I click done. Again, you can here try to search for manage workflow. It's not associated tasks here, so I can go to search. This is a global search and I can just try to search. I found it is there. Manage workflow rules in a spreadsheet. Again, if this task is not visible, you have to follow the setup steps I show you before to 
uh, enable this task in your uh, demo or a production or whatever as you see here for the template for spreadsheets we have a three types of transactions either assets a b invoice approval gl journal approval here are you going this is the first time to define the approval rules or you already had already defined approval rules and you want to add more rules or modify existing rules then if you had already defined approval rules before you just download the current template or these templates to make your amendment or modify existing rules and re-upload it again and check the status downloaded here if it's the first time you have to download it also and start to create your business uh, workflow rules and try to upload once you upload it as a csv or a zip file the status will be showing here to show you either it's successfully or error or whatever for example for the assets transaction approvals i will download so it's already created before once i download it it's downloaded here i will open it either i modify the existing rules and re-upload it again or if it's first time i will create it from scratch i just open it to show you what is there because as you see here that we already defined before and uploaded and there are a lot of status as you see successful and error in case of error you have to click click on error and check what is the error there in case of successfully it means that you already defined the approval or workflow rules in a spreadsheet successfully without any errors now I download it here as you see here that we have retirement rules mass rules addition rules transfer and adjustment and that's it data set we said that if we have uh, the approvals should be should approve the transactions based on very uh, different attributes you have to use data sets in, in my book or in your book you enable the approval for which type in my book i defined it for retirement so i can come to retirement and define my retirement or whatever for example i can download this my last one to show you what i downloaded or here for downloaded if you are going to define it for the first time here i will upload my one here for retirement because i enabled approval in my book for retirement only so i defined the rules for my retirement in mass i didn't define anything addition transfer adjustment that is it there is nothing in case of you are going to define for retirement and additions so you have to define the uh, rules for retirement and rules for mass or additions or transfer whatever once you define the, the workflow rules for all of your transaction type you can go to to uh, upload save it as zip file and upload it and check the status for the instructions here this sheet contains the details of the help topics present on oracle help center for these features and as you see here generate rule files bottom you can also update your rules template versions from the instruction sheets approval rules this is generate once you uh, define all of the rules you have to generate rule uh, file and upload it as a zip file in your uh, oracle or in your systems for retirement as you see here what is the block name this is retirement what is the rule description enter the description of your rule what is the approval routing as you know that we have a lot of uh, approval routing we have supervisor supervisor members of the supervisor hierarchy beginning from the first applicable approval receive approval notifications group in parallel or group in serials members of approval group receive approval notifications all members receive notification at the same time in case of the its group in parallel but in group in serials only when a member takes an action on the approval notifications does the next member of the series receive the approval notifications a group first responder 
as you know that members or again of an approval group receive approval notifications all members receive notification at the same time but only one member is required to take an action on the approval notifications a uh, job level hierarchy is also members of the job hierarchy beginning from the first applicable approver a user only specified application user receives the approval notifications rules the user with specified application rules receive it uh, auto approve or auto reject transactions that are automatically approved no notification are sent or again notif not uh, transactions that are automatically rejected no notification are sent for the approval level which approval level you are going to define one two three what is the start approval for retirement what will be the start approval of retirement i put manager of retirement submitter for example i'm going to create a, a retirement once i create a retirement the system will ask me to submit so i uh, show here or put here the start approval that the submitter of the retirement or the approval of the submitter of the retirement transactions will be start approval and again it's up to your business requirement maybe a retirement creator maybe a retirement preparer manager of uh, retirement preparer assignment and uh, a lot of things here what is the top approval it's option for for you that uh, after all of these things or the approval completed what will be the top approvals which rule uh, uh, priority it's uh, top or highest or medium or whatever which assets book you have to write as a text the specific the same name of your book in your applications then you can add a lot of attributes as you see here ledger cost netbook value book class category uh, uh, segment one two a lot of attributes also i worked on the assets cost retired it must be more than 1000 uh, of my currency in this case as i told you before that recommendation to make a cover rules so i have also to create another rule here to cover what el what if else that the assets cost retire less than 1000 so i can select it for example here auto approve so again retirement for example for uh, assets cost less than 1000 again uh, everything the same here or auto approve and the same assets book but here the assets cost retired uh, less than 1000 this is recommendation by oracle if you put specific rules here you have to cover the other rules in the other lines for specific transaction type again for retirement details you can choose another attribute retirement reason retired uh, uh, feeder system transaction feeder system for which feeder system transaction date for the retirement units retired because when you make a retirement there are two type of retirement either cost or units so you can also build your approval based on units retired what else creator name creator username if this is specific username make a retirement may please follow this uh, workflow rule uh, one rule two whatever uh, what about uh, flex field dff one two three until 13 or 14 dff you can create a dff and also build your approval okay, it depends on your dff uh, attributes so this is I, I cannot cover all of the business cases but this is a standard this is how to build your rules uh, again you can create another rules as you as we uh, said before that here for your information you can create uh, another rules here for for your information to specific for example uh, accounting manager or whatever ceo cfo just uh, for your information notifications that these assets is retired or these assets is ad added or these assets is adjusted or is these assets is transferred or whatever again once you uh, if you enabled for all transactions you can come to additions and create your additions rules for transfers also which transfer rules attributes you will create your uh, rules uh, for adjustment also and so on
once you define or whatever business rules you can come here and generate rule file once you generate it a either it will give you an error or give you successfully zip file is generated it will be saved on desktop then you can go to again come back to the upload and select the zip file from desktop you will find here like this and upload it to oracle once you upload it the status will be downloaded here just click on uh, refresh to check the states for example i for this the same file i uploaded two time one time is got error and the second is successfully if you got error just click on error and the system will show you what is the error as you see here here you have uploaded all the version of the rule file please download latest rule template from the manager approval workflow in, in a spreadsheet because what because once i came here i click on these rules but i have to come here to download either the existing one if it's already approved or set up or first time first time means for for example invoice approval here invoice approval is not set up before so is, is if i'm going to set up approval or workflow rules for ab invoice so it will be the first time because there is no any uploaded files uh, before so i am going to download it here first time but if i had already uploaded and uh, or, or i am going to modify existing rules it's like for here assets or gl it means that this the approval or workflow rules is set up for the assets and gl i hope now to good because it's also the same concept for our video before for how to set up uh, journal or workflow rules for GL journals for this one let's there are some set uh, added or additional setups for uh, assets approval for how to showing approval assets info tile info tile means once you go to or before uh, to uh, talking about this I will make one transactions to retirement just go to assets and select the approver book I select here our book and go to assets retire because I enabled my approval for assets retire select the book and you can select specific assets for example i will start by one search it will give me all of the assets i will select 1009 again done sorry i will selected and retire cost because i make or the assets cost more than 1000 cost retired so i will put 2000 so i will retire 2000 of uh, 9000 and click b check here what is the approval status is required because of what because you enable the approval for this book for retirement transactions so during you make any transactions the system will ask you that or will show you the approval status is required for these transactions so i will click submit once you submitted that there are two types of how to uh, track how to see these transactions there are two types first of saying that here you can show info tile for the approvals as you see we have addition adjustment transfer retirement depreciations but we don't have approval info tile how to show this one this is our next step through send the books so how to show approval as info tile you have to go to configuration but to be honestly with you is not working with me maybe it's need to raise the sr because it's demo test instance i go to configuration create send the books for example i will give name for example create sandbox 
and I will uh, for example if a approval and select all of these actions application composer HCM approve appearance structure maybe data security also BG composer and template integration flex field and create and enter once you create and enter you have to uh, go to the proper uh, window or page As you see here, once you create and enter, just come back to the fixed assets or whatever the uh, page. Just here the assets, click on assets. And here I need to show you what the approval info tile. Just come to your username and edit pages. Once you select edit pages, just click on configuration layout it will show you approval here approval info tile is not showing once you click on it it must be appear but it give me error these errors I don't know what is the reason of that maybe I need to create or raise SR or whatever maybe it work with you or not or whatever but here how to show info tile of approval once you show it or once you resolve these issues the info tile will appearing here for the approvals to show you what is pending, what is rejected, what is approved, blah blah blah. I will click OK. Once you enabled and without any errors, you just came here and publish this sandbox to again to save whatever the changes you did it here for this page. But because it's give it me error, it will not save or it will not be published because there is no any change it happened here what else we have this is how to enable manage workflow transaction console as you know that for the journal approval for the AB invoices approval also for the fixed assets transactions there is one transaction console transaction console how to see the status of your transactions how to track it even in case of the business users come to you um, uh, Muhammad this is transactions is not sent to the approval this transaction is rejected this transaction is in uh, in stuck this transaction blah 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 so you can also manage uh, fixed asset transaction approval through transaction console but before that you have to enable or you have to set up a specific lookup in your manage standard lookup to enable you or to allow you or to uh, for that the, the transaction of uh, assets approval will be visible there in transaction console first of all again as you see here transaction console give you the fix flexibility to work with flow administrator to review the progress of what approval transactions either for EB, GL, and here in our uh, example here for fixed assets. First of all, how to enable it, you have to go to manage standard lookup and search or uh, create lookup type who is FA advanced dev code. If doesn't exist, skip these steps. Enter lookup type as uh, this FA advanced dev code and manage and uh, meaning and description also it's up to you you can enter anything there select a module for the access applications keep the default for other attributes without any changing there save and add new lookup code you have to enter the lookup code for this lookup type as fe enable tag for lookup code me for code and the meaning and the description 
save and keep enabled and save how to see or how to set up this just again go to uh, I will exist or leave yes so I will go to setup and maintenance manage a standard lookup manage standard lookups search it's not found no problem I can go to a global search manage standard lookup what we will search if a advanced dev code if a advanced let me put it in uh, here you have to set up lookup type code lookup type if a advanced dev underscore code for the meaning enter whatever the meaning you want for the modules you have to put assets modules users secure keep the other attributes uh, the default other attributes without any changing once you enter or define lookup to uh, lookup type this lookup type save and go to uh, lookup codes to enter fa enable like this fa enable tag for what for for code meaning and the description for code meaning and the description the same without any single code double code blah 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 and keep enable the checkbox the same and save once you enabled you can come back now to the manage transaction consoles to check your transactions if you remember we define or we create one retirement for assets 1009 but for this lookup for manage transaction console if you create transactions before enable these lookups you will not find this transaction in transaction console whatever the transaction console is defined all of the transactions will be created uh, and submitted after you created the lookup this lookup it will be visible where in manage transaction console so i will go to manage transaction console from this list go to down from tools you will find the transaction console to track your transactions what is pending what is in uh, in progress what is in stack what is uh, submitted what is uh, completed uh, what is uh, failed all of these status you can track it through transaction consoles for EB for GL for fixed assets once I defined or you defined these lookups and you create your transaction either uh, retirement uh, additions whatever you can come here go to submitted and As you see here 1009 this is asset retirement if you click on it the system will ask you or will show you the approval that Muhammad Salah is submitted and it's assigned to the manager or the supervisor of Muhammad Salah if I log in by uh, the user of Muhammad Salah it will uh, take the action either approve or whatever this is how to show you in the 
uh, transaction approval of assets in managed transaction console. Now I just log out from my user and log in by my supervisor uh, username and the password. Go to notifications. Here there is action required approval of retirement of 1009 of our from Muhammad Salah. He can just click on these notifications and take the action. As you see the actions here, approve and reject. Here, this is the details of the approvals. If there are any other approvals, it can be show detail here. If not, here he can make escalate, he can delegate, he can route task, or add comment, add attachment, or he can approve. Once it's approved, it must be disappear from here. Thank you. Thank you. Submitted. must be uh, disappear from here after some time let's come back to my user this is my user check notification here approval of retirement 1009 is approved from your manager here requested and approval approval of retirement is already for show sure approvals it will show you that it's approved by your uh, supervisor so this is how to everything about assets approval uh, again if you have any questions you can uh, ask anytime in the descriptions or whatever and thanks for watching